In LinkedIn, generating leads a little bit complicated. In my channel, I usually cover the organic growth and how you can actually do more sales and branding in LinkedIn platform. But today, I'm gonna go over the LinkedIn lead generation advertising format and how you can actually use this format to generate your leads. Let's get started. If it's your first time in my channel, welcome. In this channel, I share career tips, tricks, LinkedIn optimizations, other platform optimizations that's going to help business professionals and students like you who are just using these like platforms. Today, I wanna to go over the LinkedIn lead generation forms. As ex-LinkedIn employee, we have been using these platforms quite a long time and this really helps people who are just using the LinkedIn professional platform in their content marketing. LinkedIn lead generation format is a little bit different. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through step-by-step step how we can create this LinkedIn lead gen formats and the most important points that you definitely need to pay attention because when you create the LinkedIn lead generation formats, it's actually not easy to download these information from LinkedIn platform and there's a little trick that you need to do. First of all, let's start why you wanna use LinkedIn lead generation format and what's the difference between organic and the paid advertising versions. LinkedIn lead generation format in the advertising section is actually really helping marketers or business professionals to capture the data of their target audience. Let's say you have a company page and you're trying to reach out to your audience, but the more you post, the more you're trying to reach out to your audience, it's just like getting enough traction for your webinars and for your events or anything that you're trying to sell. That's why companies are using LinkedIn lead generation format so they can actually reach their target audience, which is not following their company page. It's a little in the flashcard format that I'm gonna show you and how we can leverage and use this like formats. The LinkedIn lead generation, or you can target the people by their industry, their titles and their location and much more. So before I deep dive, I wanna highlight how you can give access to yourself on your company page to generate LinkedIn lead generation. And this is the most important point because when you advertise, you need to collect these leads within your advertising campaigns. And this is the first crucial step that you definitely need to do. First, you need to go to your company page that you are the admin of and you're going to do manage page. Under the admin tools, you're going to see manage admins. So under the manage admin section, you're going to see multiple uh, sections in here. So I'm going to walk you through how you can actually first give your access for the LinkedIn lead generation format. So when you come in here, you're going to see like, designated admins in here, recruiter posters, sponsored content posters, and you're going to see on the fourth section, LinkedIn lead gen form manager. So when you first create your advertising, you definitely need to give your access to LinkedIn lead gen manager, or if you are the business owner, maybe you wanna give this access to your marketing manager. So you definitely need to include that specific person under this fourth section, it says LinkedIn lead gen forms manager. And after this one, you just need to hit save. This is the first thing that you definitely need to do. And then we're going to go to the LinkedIn campaign manager. So LinkedIn campaign manager is like where you can access to the advertising of your company page. And the way you can actually go is like under the work section of your LinkedIn profile. And then this is where you can actually access the campaign manager. If you don't know how to access the campaign manager, I'm gonna put the link down below. So when you click on the link, it should definitely take you to your company page. So in this section uh, where you can see under campaign manager is like there's a section called collect leads using LinkedIn lead gen forms. So you won't be choosing like a different text ads or sponsor content. You need to be choosing LinkedIn lead gen forms. So when you come in here, definitely name your campaign name. So in here, I'm just going to write campaign name. And then the target audience language, I'm just gonna mark it as English in here. And I will be seeing two different content in here. The first one is send people to your website or content, but I'll be choosing collect leads using LinkedIn lead gen forms. Then I'm going to click next. So when I come in here, I can actually choose the content that I've been publishing on my company pages, or I can create a brand new one. So what I'm gonna do in here, I'm gonna choose the content that I published on my company page, and I'm gonna convert them to LinkedIn lead generation. So I'm gonna mark this one first, and then there's a little second one in here for the Christmas that I just like, created and for happy holidays. So I'm just gonna check mark these ones. So I'm gonna choose the first one. It says like sponsor selected content. So after I do this one, when I'm building a template for the brand new campaign, I definitely need to create like a create a new form template. And in here, as you can see, there's like a template section in here. And when you're just like in the process of creating a LinkedIn lead gen format, this is the fir first page that you're going to see. 
and by in here start enter a form template name select your language describe the offer you're promoting and this is the first step to building the ad unit to collect the information you would like from the members and in here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the offer details in here whatever you just want to put like maybe you're just promoting a webinar or any type of like sales event in here but my recommendation is like make sure you give the form a very clear identifiable name for reporting and assigning purposes because you might be launching multiple campaigns and you might be comparing the results at the end so giving a very clear campaign name is just going to help you in, in the long run for when you're just building the reports for your linkedin campaigns especially for the linkedin lead generation so all fields need to be filled out. So if you're just trying to click next and if it's not clickable on your area, that means you didn't fill out all the forms. So definitely make sure you're filling out every single section in the lead gen form. So the next button will be active, not passive. So the next one, I need to be choosing the fields that I would like to collect on my LinkedIn lead generation. So in here, I'm gonna choose first name. And the second one is I would like to collect the email addresses of the people who would like to attend my webinar and I'm gonna choose the last name. So I'm just gonna make it very brief. So my recommendation is like, rather than putting so many fields on your LinkedIn lead generation, try to limit up to three and the four and try to stay away from the phone number section because like, if it's people's first time seeing your LinkedIn lead generation, they might not wanna give their phone number and they might click on the LinkedIn lead generation and you will pay for the click. And if they see that you are trying to collect their phone numbers, they might X out from the LinkedIn lead generation form. So my recommendation is the easy way is collecting their emails and collecting their first and the last name. Um, and if they are willing to continue, they need to click on this like privacy policy in here. And once they give their permission to give their information to you, you can click on next. The good news is like when you are advertising your LinkedIn lead generation, members can actually edit the fields. So like for instance, they can change their email addresses because this is actually auto-populated in the LinkedIn lead generation format. But if they don't want to give their work email addresses, they can actually edit and give their personal email addresses. And they can also include their phone numbers if you're asking their phone numbers as well. Maybe they want to give their work phone number rather than giving their mobile phone number. So this section is like totally um, editable. The only thing that's not going to pre-populate is the gender section if you really want to know their genders for your advertising purposes but basically you can ask their email addresses work emails phone numbers or if they want to give their work phone numbers they can give it that as well the good news is when you're creating linkedin lead generation you can actually create like a custom questions in here so you can just type the questions in here and make it very custom and for instance in here would you recommend or products to a friend? That's what I'm just going to write in here because I'm just curious about like a multiple choice, yes and no. And you can create this on your LinkedIn lead generation format as well. Lastly, when people click their like LinkedIn lead generation and they give their information to you, they're going to see like a thank you page. It's like a flashcard. And in here, you can just include this like a thank you message in here. If you're like giving like a white paper or any type of downloadable PDF, you can put the link right in here. So the other important thing, like the, as you remember in the first step, like we gave access to ourselves in our company pages as like a LinkedIn lead gen admin. So what you need to do is like downloading your leads. You definitely need this admin access because not every single person who's like advertising on your company page can download these leads. So when you make sure that you have the LinkedIn lead manager access, you can actually go to the top right corner in here and click download. So this way you can actually download the leads and other sections in here for your reporting purposes. That's pretty much it for the LinkedIn lead generation. If you want to know more about like the organic growth and generating leads in LinkedIn, I have more videos on my channel that you can watch. If you have more questions about the LinkedIn lead generation, and if you have any challenges about the LinkedIn lead generation format or any type of LinkedIn content marketing strategy, don't forget to leave your comment down below and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. That's it for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe and recommend to your colleagues. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.